So another complication that can happen is something called coronary steel syndrome. And this is actually something that we cause. So what happens is we give vasodilators when we see, we suspect or diagnose someone with a heart attack. Um, that's part of the Mona Bash treatment, remember? So like nitroglycerin will dilate your vessels. But what this happens is you would think it would help, but this actually leads to a paradoxical worsening of ischemia. And I want to explain why this happens. So actually, let's go back. So this is what, this is what we have here. With the heart attack, we have obstructing plaque, a thrombosis, not enough blood is going, not enough blood, not enough blood is crossing. So what we're going to see here is this stuff is going to vasodilate, okay? These are going to, the areas, the vessels distal to the obstruction are going to dilate maximally possible, as maximal as possible to give that, to give that ischemic region as much blood as they can. Um, so it will help. You're going to get a little bit more blood shunted towards the ischemic regions. But what happens when we give our vasodilators? So example, another one is like dipyramidal. You give these vasodilators. This area already is already maximally dilated. Your vasodilator is not going to do anything to it. Okay. But what happens is this vasodilator is going to act on all the heart vessels. So this one is going to dilate. This one is actually going to dilate. And now this, you see, this one is much bigger. It's it's uh it's gonna it's much bigger than before. So it's going to take a lot more blood, and it's going to be stealing all that blood that could have been going to that ischemic area, and it's going back. It's going to send it to the non-ischemic area, to the area that doesn't even need the blood. So that's why it's called coronary steel syndrome, and it can lead to worsening of ischemia because now it's stealing whatever blood you had that was going to the heart. Um, so that, that this ischemic area gets even worse. Next thing is sudden cardiac death. Um, this the definition of this is um, death from a cardiac cause within one hour of onset of symptoms. I want to emphasize that this is not a disease itself. It is just a term. It's a term for when you die within one hour of onset of symptoms of a cardiac cause. Usually, this is due to a ventricular arrhythmia, so ventricular fibrillation. Um, so, arrhythmia, fibrillation, heart, stop, heart basically can't have an organized contraction, so no blood's coming out, so you die. Uh, most of these patients have coronary artery disease already. Um, if you see this, if you see sudden cardiac death in a young individual, usually the cause, do you know what the cause will be? I haven't talked about it, but you might have uh, had a lecture on this already. Well, the cause will be hypertrophic cardiomyopathy. And these patients also get arrhythmias, and usually it's an the the story is it's an athlete, a young athlete, like twenty years old, um, maybe a basketball player, and then they just drop dead. And it's probably hypertrophic cardiomyopathy. An additional clue is they often have a family member who died also suddenly of an unknown cause, because this is a it can be a genetically predisposition, um, genetically passed down. All right, so that's it for our complications from heart disease, from heart attack.